here we discuss about the various committees to strengthen the monetary policy framework. First one, Urjit Patel Committee to strengthen the monetary policy framework. An expert committee headed by Urjit Patel, Deputy Governor of RBI was appointed on 12th September 2013 to revise and strengthen the monetary policy framework. The main objective of the committee was to recommend what needs to be done to revise and strengthen the current monetary policy framework with a view to making it transparent and predictable. The group submitted its report in January 2014. The following recommendations with regard to managing inflation. Consumer price index should be used as the nominal anchor for a flexible inflation targeting framework. The target for inflation should be set at 4% with a band of plus or minus 2% around it. The committee said the transition path to the target zone should be graduated to bringing down inflation from the current level of 10% to 8% over a period not exceeding the next 12 months and to 6% over a period not exceeding the next 12-24 month period before formally adopting the recommended target of 4% plus or minus 2%. The committee asked the central government to ensure that the fiscal deficit as a ratio to GDP is brought down to 3% by 2016-17. Administered prices and interest rate should be eliminated as they act as impediments to monetary policy transmission and achievement of price stability. Proposed for a monetary policy committee, Governor of RBI is a chairman, deputy chairman in charge of monetary policy. Second is P.J. Nye Committee. The Committee to Review Governance of Boards of Banks in India headed by P.J. Nayak. Its key recommendations include the dilution of government ownership in public sector banks to 50% of their paid up capital and revamping of their boards. The Nayak Committee has proposed that the government stake in the banks transfer to a separate bank investment company which will be professionally managed and able to raise resources. The committee revealed that public sector banks lag behind private banks with respect to a wide range of parameters such as transparency, profitability and asset quality. Conclusion in short, the role of RBA prevented our system from the financial crisis, employment crisis and social and humanitarian crisis. Thank you.